Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip is about rates. Uh, we'll use the specific example of calculating speeds. It works for rates in general. If Koi can run 32 meters in 4 seconds, how fast is that in meters per second? Think about it for a minute, see if you can come up with an answer. Thirty-two meters in four seconds. His rate is eight meters per second. That means if he runs eight meters every second for four seconds, he'll go thirty-two meters. If Tristan can ride forty-five meters in three seconds, how fast is that in meters per second? <clears throat> forty-five meters in three seconds. His rate is 15 meters per second. You just divide 45 by 3. Okay, now what if that <coughs> isn't the whole number? So if I can run 100 feet in 3.9 seconds, how fast is that in feet per second? Round to the nearest tenth of a foot per second. Well, you can just put that into a calculator. 100 feet in 3.9 seconds gives me the number 25.64 that's feet per second the request was to the nearest tenth okay so the the next digit after the tenth place is a four which is less than five so it's less than halfway to the next number up, so I'm going to round down to 25.6 to the nearest tenth. Now, that's in feet per second. Can we convert that to miles per hour? So, 25.6 feet per second. Well, I know there's 60 seconds in a minute. And I want this in miles per hour, so eventually I want to get it in units of hours. So I want the seconds to cancel. So I know 60 seconds in a minute, so I know that the 60 seconds needs to go on top so that the units of seconds will cancel. Anything divided by itself is 1. 60 seconds per minute. So now, if I were to multiply that by 60, I would have feet per minute. Now I want the minutes to cancel. So I know there's 60 minutes in an hour. The minutes cancel, and I have feet per hour. That's going to be a fairly large number because I'm multiplying by 60, and then by 60 again. There are 5,280 feet per mile. Well, on the 60 minutes per hour, I put the hours on the bottom. 5,280 feet, I put the miles on top. How did I know? Well, the feet need to cancel, and I have feet on the bottom, feet on top, units cancel. So the units we have on top are miles. The units we have on the bottom are hours. So the only units that have not canceled are miles per hour. So if I multiply 25.6 times 60, times 60, and then divide that by 5,280. So that comes out to 17.45 miles per hour. If we wanted to round that to the nearest tenth, the 5 is anything five or above we round up so that if I wanted to round to the nearest tenth I would round that to 17.5 miles per hour <clears throat> if she can ride her bike 150 feet in 4.8 seconds how fast is that in feet per second round to the nearest tenth of a foot per second You 
might want to pause this and try it on your own. Just make sure you can do this. If that comes out to 31.25, you would round that to the nearest tenth, you would round that to 31.3. 5 is anything 5 or above, we round up the next digit is 5 or above. So now in miles per hour, let's do 31.3 feet per second times 60 seconds per minute times 60 minutes per hour times one mile is 5,280 feet. Seconds cancel seconds, feet cancel feet, minutes cancel minutes, we have miles per hour, <coughs> that turns out to be 21.3 miles per hour. You might notice that running 17.5 typically less than a bike, as long as the bike's going a good speed. Uh, if Ashley drives 300 feet in her car in 6.2 seconds, how fast is that in feet per second? That comes out to 48.38. Rounding that would be we could say that's 48.4 feet per second in miles per hour now. 48.4 feet per second times 60 seconds per minute times 60 minutes per hour. One mile. 5,280 feet. <coughs> feet cancel, seconds cancel, minutes cancel, we have miles per hour. That turns out to be 33. Typically a car drives faster than a bike, faster than a runner. It's one thing to check when you're doing the field trip is kind of watch and see if it looks faster each time you measure something, you time something. Um, so we'd like to go outside, maybe in front of the school, to time someone running 100 feet. They could take measure some cones to measure 100 feet. Uh, you can measure that in feet per second and then convert it to miles per hour. Um, and time someone riding a bike 150 feet and calculate their speed. Um, do that same thing for a car. I want to go 300 feet on that one because it's going to go by fairly fast generally um, do the do the teamwork paper first just to make sure you've got the calculations down on the calculator and then you can go outside you can take a calculator enjoy the enjoy the nice weather out there so that's how you calculate speeds other rates are similar like dollars per hour if you earn so many dollars in a certain number of hours you can figure out your rate in dollars per hour by dividing